I'm John Culberson. As your congressman, I'm the only appropriator from Southeast Texas, so I'm in the right place at the right time to help us recover from Hurricane Harvey and make our flood control system even stronger to prepare for the next storm. I made sure after that terrible storm swept through Houston and we all reached out to help one another that I made certain that I brought together as the only appropriator from this area, the Texas and Florida delegations to put together the largest hurricane recovery package in the history of the United States. $141 billion passed, passed in uh, the Congress and was signed into law. There's enough money there coming to Harris County to finish every federally authorized flood control project in our county to build out to protect against the next big storm. I've been there to make sure that people have the money they need to recover from this disaster. And I've also made sure that there's enough money to protect the Texas Medical Center against the next big storm. As the only appropriator from Southeast Texas, I'm also but was proud to spearhead the effort to repeal the oil export ban, to deregulate our oil and gas industry, to help pass the largest tax cut in American history and unleash the American economy. And we've seen the results. Light regulatory touch and low taxes makes for a strong economy. We've seen it in Texas and now we're seeing it nationally. And I'll continue to work to strengthen our economy. I am also committed to protecting our quality of life and investing in the future. As the chairman of the committee that funds NASA and the National Science Foundation, I'm very passionate about making sure that we restore the American space program and lift it above and beyond the glory days of Apollo. So I'm always looking to the future and investing in scientific research, medical research, to cure cancer, to cure juvenile diabetes, and to make sure that the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the American space program, is the very best on Earth. It's a privilege for me to represent you in the United States Congress, and I hope to earn your vote again this November. I will always keep my word to represent you with consistency and integrity. Thank you very much.